unable to feed their extended families. Fishermen are having to depend more and more on government handouts, like the wheat subsidy. Twice a week, the women work late into the night, preparing up to 80 loaves of bread. The next morning, they lay them out in the sun to rise. They carve three small handles into each loaf, a tradition that dates back to ancient times. This is the center of every rural Egyptian home, its ancient mud brick oven. If you think she's going to throw those crusts away, there's not a chance of that. Nothing in an Egyptian household goes to waste. Egypt has virtually no trees, so anything that burns is in great demand. It can take up to two hours of constant work to heat the stove. By 9 a.m., it's already 100 degrees outside. Inside is even hotter and filling up with smoke. It's more complicated than it looks. You have to get the stove just hot enough for long enough to bake all the bread without wasting a single stick of fuel. But no matter how careful they are, the grain subsidy isn't nearly enough to feed a typical Egyptian family, so they're always looking for ways to make a couple of bucks on the side. 